Images that people have seen all their life. Images of Harlan County's historic past, painted on the very bricks which surround part of that heritage. The mine surplus or mine warehouse, I like to call it an old Walmart. You could come and find anything that your family would need, but the main industry that they developed from was uh, providing the coal mines with the instruments that they needed. The 99-year-old structure alongside the railroad tracks is now a ministry center known as Christ Hands. I wanted to emphasize the hand of Christ and Christ here. Local artist Bob Howard made that clear in phase two of his project. So as we moved across the bureau, uh, the, the loaves and fishes, the Holy Bible, the, the, the peace, the cross, all of these were the Christian emblems we wanted on this wall. It's phase three, which paints the picture of Harlan's rich heritage from trains full of coal. The l and Railroad, I mean, you know, the railroad's right out here. To churches and musical instruments. And it's, it's a work ethic. It's a southern work ethic, you know, and, and I think that's what you have here in the mountains. People uh, have a work ethic, and they always have. A deep Harlan County passion is felt in every stroke of the brush. It's people. Uh, the people are the best thing about Harlan County. A brush with still plenty of painting left to do. I'm, I'm constantly just putting something up there every day, you know, new, and uh, filling something in and going to the next thing. Tradition and heritage may grow old, but art carries them on forever. In Harlan County, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News.